just recorded Shoemaker Legato Etude number 19. This one was not the hardest one in the book, but it definitely was tricky and it took me more time to prepare than I expected it to, just like all of these Shoemaker Etudes. They all take a little longer than I expect. I'm always like, ah, I got this one. Um, but this one was hard because it had like high G sharps mostly, and then had high A sharp, which I don't usually play, even though that's a high B flat, but to think of it as an A sharp, I don't know why, it kind of weird to me. And then it ends on a high B. Um, because of this like huge kind of range that it goes, it doesn't really go low, but it kind of stays in the staff, but then it goes above. Um, I, I get a little like tense about it, like, oh my gosh, I have to make sure to hit this note and hit that note. Well, one of the things I do when I have, I'm faced with something that is making me, um, let's say high, strong, or nervous, like normal French horn playing, um, what I do is I think about the timing. And what that does is it calms me down because the timing of something or the subdivision is a very stable force in music that we have at least if we have a good conductor or a metronome. Um, so wh what I do is I subdivide as I go, and I think about that timing instead of thinking about what note is coming or what should I do with my air, what should I do with my tongue. I still re try to remember to breathe and stuff, but if I keep going with the timing, it just provides a stableness to my performance for myself. And along with that, when you're performing um, in an orchestra or with an ensemble where the conductor doesn't necessarily have the friendliest, warmest, welcoming, I'm understanding, I'm understanding how hard the French horn is to play face, which I've had many times, unfortunately, but I've also had some good I shouldn't say good conductors. I've also had some conductors that are welcoming, of course. But let's say we have a conductor who's not um, making you feel good. So what I do is I really ignore their face, and instead I watch their baton and their hand, and I just I go with that because what is that? That is the timing. I just don't look at that part because sometimes it's really scary. And if I can just I just keep that going, that pulse, and it. It really helps with my performances. So I hope that will help you that tip about um, timing and keeping yourself stable when you're performing. If you want more tips about that, man, I've got more. But my number one thing is think about the subdivision. So I hope that helps. And that was 19. We've got five to go. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Oh, this was my Lewis horn. I've decided I love it.